What is up collectors and fellow Star Wars fans? Welcome back to the channel. Today in the house, I got the Star Wars Paladuvin, former Jedi Padawan, turned notorious bounty hunter. The Aura Singh statue is here in the house. This is the Sideshow Premium Format exclusive statue, the Exclusivo. I can't wait to get this one out of the box. It's been a long time hunting this one. This is a hard one to get. And she's a bounty hunter. She's the one that trained Boba Fett. So I was like, gotta have this one because I'm a huge fan of Boba Fett. I was finally able to get this one from my friend Junior. So thanks buddy for hooking me up with this one right here. It's because it's going for quite a bit of money on eBay. They hardly ever show up. And when they do show up, people want crazy money for it. So it's, it's a hard one to find, especially the exclusive version if that's what you want to get. So if you guys are into Star Wars like I am, make sure you check out the Hyperdrive channel that I have. You can follow my exploits on there. I do a lot of Star Wars collecting. We talk Star Wars news, go over comic book reads, you know, rumors and all kinds of stuff like that. If you're into that kind of stuff, go and check out the Hyperdrive channel. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to get to it. And with all of that out of the way, I want to get this thing out of the box. It's been in a long time in coming, so let's do that. All right, so there she is inside of the, the foam. It's only one layer, so not... Not too complicated of a piece to put together. You got her hair right there. You got her, her gun. You got some extra parts, the base itself, and then you have her body. I did remove a little bit of the of the uh, the sheet covering that they have here, and unfortunately, I got a little bit of a break right here on the finger. So that kind of sucks, but it's nothing that I can't fix. So I'll try to get that fixed here. Hopefully nothing else is damaged. I'm trying to see around, I don't see anything else. She does have a pretty awesome looking face. I'm loving the way that looks. From the fingers here though, they do they did seem to shorten up the fingers a lot. The Paladuvins have like long fingers. You know, they, they're almost like spider like long, um, very bony. So that's a little bit different. Uh, but otherwise, she looks really good. So let's get her all assembled and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. All right, let's get this knocked out. Shouldn't be a very difficult piece to put together. You know, sideshow pieces are usually fairly simple. They don't you know, even give you instructions, they're so simple. So here is the base. It's got like a wall attached to it. And I got number 449 of 450. So one less than the exclusive amount on this, that's nuts. Only 450 of these made. This is back when, when stuff used to be very exclusive, you know? <laughs> All right. There she is. Super cool. I like the gun. Got mixed media elements on here. So you got some like leather areas, which is very cool. Actually, a lot of mixed media on this one. The boots aren't though. All right. It's going to key in right here. And it's got a tight key in. There we go. All right. Yeah, so it looks like it's just that one finger that's broken. I should be able to fix that. Probably gonna need to use a little bit of epoxy on it or something like that and just get the finger repainted, but it's not the worst break in the world. It seems to be kind of a clean break. I'll show you guys a close up on that one when I get to it. Something to look look at if you're uh, if you're looking to pick this one up you know all right let's see what else all right there goes her hair okay dope has a little antenna that sticks right here in her head look at that it goes the other way. Huh. A lot longer than I thought. I don't really know which way that goes. I'll have to look at the picture. See how that actually fits in there. So she actually got a big, a big rod sticking into her head. <laughs> Fits right in here. Let me go over here. Maybe that goes up like that. 
pouch goes up in here. Ah, this probably goes over here. All right, let me look that up real quick. And there she is, guys, the Aura Sing Premium Format Figure Exclusive, the Exclusivo. Let me spin this one around here so you guys can check it out. Check her out for all of that she is, all of her glory. I think it's a really cool looking statue. They did a great job on her. It's awesome stuff here. Um, mine is aged, you know, aged for perfection, but it does have a little bit of flaws now that it's been aged. Of course, I told you guys when I was unboxing it, there is a crack here at one of the fingers, which I'm gonna have to get repaired. Uh, but also I noticed that there's some kind of like clear drop or something like that. I don't know if it was glue or if it was, um, you know, clear paint or whatever, but it's on her on her shoulder pad, on her shoulder uh, blade. Uh, so gonna have to get that fixed. And then there's some scratches here on the wrist. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get that fixed as well. Um, so considering that I'm gonna have to repaint that anyway, I'm probably just gonna get that other stuff, you know, touched up too, just to give her that, you know, perfect, like new out of the box, as new as you can get from Sideshow type of look. So uh, this is the exclusive statue, like I said before. Uh, only 450 of these were made. This one is number 449. Uh, it comes with this uh, briefcase. That's what you get for the exclusive. And inside of the briefcase are these lightsabers. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, I think this is a really cool addition. I, I do wish that it would sit on the base. This is one of those things that Sideshow does where it just sits at, you know, out in front of your statue, kind of like an afterthought. Uh, back then, they weren't charging more for exclusives, so I don't know why they just didn't, you know, find a way to put it on the base somehow. But maybe you can just slide it here like that, you know. Hey, I could display it like that. That's kind of cool, closed. You know, but then you don't see the lightsabers. Uh, when you have it open, I kind of wish that it was a little bit of a stop to it. You know, like maybe like if it would stop like that, so that way it was it's a little more apparent that it's part of this uh, statue rather than it just laying on the table like that. Because then it just looks like, you know, you left something on top of the table, kind of messy. That's why I don't really like proximity bases too much. They're, they're kind of strange to me. In fact, I don't even think that this is something that you necessarily have to go after the exclusive for. It's because the statue itself looks amazing without that. You know, it's a beautiful looking statue. So I think this is just something extra, you know, if you want to have, and you can have that, you know, again, slid right back here like that. So it looks like it's part of your, your whole display here. Um, the statue itself looks like she's sitting in Tatooine probably by the base, you know, that this little sand, you know, stone looking type of material all over the place. Uh, I'm guessing they were going for the whole look of the, uh, Phantom Menace when she's overlooking the Bantu Eve. Uh, so I think that's what they were trying to go for. This is like her look from that movie, even though she was in the Clone Wars animated series, it doesn't give off the vibe like the Clone Wars animated series. Uh, so there's that. Um, lots of nice texture in the base, which I think is great. I love this piping that comes out and everything. Again, I'm not sure if that goes up like this or not, but it's, it's weathered really nicely and painted very well. So I love that. It looks great. Um, there is some mixed media elements in this, actually a lot of mixed media elements in this one. And that's indicative of, of the older premium format statues that used to come out from Sideshow. They did a lot of mixed media parts. So when you get this statue, you're going to have a mixed media undersuit. You're going to have this leather or pleather type of belt material. That's where that goes. And it's very thin, similar to like what I saw on the, um, the uh, Ala Sakura or even the Shakti uh, statues. So they were very thin material, uh, but still very nicely detailed. I like that you got the belt holes and stuff like that. Uh, I do wish that it was a little more weathered up. Maybe a harder leather would be nice, you know, so that way I, I can feel a little more comfortable with the idea that this is going to be out in the open. I feel like at some point that's going to deteriorate. Uh, the details here, like the chain is nice. I love the way the guns look. They got that old Western vibe to it. They do not come out of the gun holsters. There's no buckles here for you to pull out, for, to pull those out to see them closer. So don't try to do that. Um, I like that you have this really nice long rifle. Again, I would have liked to seen this a little more weathered up. It's not very weathered at all, actually. It looks very clean, which is not Star Wars. Star Wars is all dirty and grimy, and, you know, and, they, and that's the whole thing that George Lucas wanted. I think they, that needs to be, definitely needs to be weathered up a little bit. So maybe when I get the, the skin repainted, I'll probably get the gun repainted also just to give it a little more realistic vibe and maybe get this like wood holster here to look a lot more realistic, just to enhance the piece a little bit more. Um, the top here of her jacket is, a, is like a, kind of like a suede material is how that feels. There's some pouches here and everything, and you slide this uh, plate of God knows what that is, some kind of money or 
uh, I don't know, maybe some kind of explosive that I don't know about. Um, and you have these parts here that go on the back, which just adds to the whole look of her costume. Now, if you saw the unboxing I did, I put the hair in before I put those parts in. You definitely want to put these parts in before you put the hair, because then you can get a little more, you can get them in easier, is basically what, you, what you're looking at. These hair uh, pieces here, these braids, they're like a plastic material, and they're a little flexible, uh, but still I would be worried about you know breaking, so definitely uh, handle that with care. And they have these cool little ornaments on her hair, which look, look really nice. Uh, you got like a reddish and then kind of blonde mix in her, in her hair, in hair color, which looks cool. And then it keys in at the very top. Her face looks kind of, you know, confident, uh, kind of like she has a slight little smirk going on to her. I do kind of wish that she was a little more angry. You know, that would be kind of cool. But then she's kind of posing here. So I, I don't see that, uh, that that would go with that. But still, you know, something a little more like that. Or maybe even more of a smirk, just a little more uh, emotion is what I would like to see there. Um, and then you have this rod that sticks right up in her head and that's, that's basically that. It's supposed to be like her antenna, all right? So really cool looking statue. I love the way this thing looks. The big thing about this now is that it's been out for a very long time and not a lot of them are available on the market. So people are charging some crazy money for it. In fact, right now I went on eBay to see what the going rates are on them, what the recent sales are. I haven't seen a recent sale, but the going rate on one of them right now, somebody wants $2,800 for the statue. It's a great looking piece. I love the way this thing looks and I'm extremely happy to have this in my collection, but do not pay $2,800 for this statue. I do not feel that this is worth anywhere near that kind of money. Uh, it's a great looking statue. You know, it's the only Aura Singh statue ever to be made in this size. So there's that going for it, but 2,800 is absolutely ridiculous. I, I just, it's, it's crazy. I, I wouldn't pay that kind of money for it. It's, it's um, there's not enough going on here in my opinion to warrant that kind of that kind of money. So I don't know what that guy's thinking or, or lady is thinking or whoever has that price like that, but don't pay that. I mean, tops, I would see this thing like $800 is where I would see that this thing is, is worth in value to me, uh, even with the exclusive. The exclusive maybe a grand, you know, but nowhere near that, guys. Don't do that. <laughs> so uh, that's my opinion on this one. It's a great looking statue. I love to have this one in my collection. And I can't wait to get a Boba Fett to go with it since, you know, she trained Boba Fett. That would be cool to have as a display, you know, companion piece. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on this one. Let me know what you think about Aura Singh in the comments below. You know, is this the bounty hunter that you want to get along with other pieces? What bounty hunter would you guys like to see made in a quarter scale format, you know, from Sideshow or from whoever? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, may the force be with you and keep it marvelous. Mm -hmm.